Hi YouTube, it's Lena. And Brian. We are here with November's Japan Crate. Slowly catching up. Slowly. Uh, anyways, we get the premium crate. It's $35 a month. It comes with some extra snacks and a drink and usually some kind of DIY type thing that we never do because we're lazy. So here is the info. Do we got a theme this month? Doesn't look like it. Apparently in November there's a Grand Sumo tournament. You mean there was a Grand Sumo tournament? I believe it's held every November. Well, there. Bam. All right. Anyway. I'll start with the Cheetos. <coughs> All right, those are Happiness Honey Cheese Cheetos. Honey Cheese. Uh, yeah. This small limited edition release of Cheetos in Japan features four different kinds of cheeses, including camembert, cheddar, mozzarella, and cream cheese, with a touch of honey. That's hella weird. It's weird. Not bad. Not great. Very weird. I think it's the sour cream, or not sour cream, the cream cheese and honey that's thrown in the... It's a little, it's a little too on the sweet side. Yeah, there's a little too much sweetness. I think it's done at the bottom. That is corn porticky. Enjoy sweet and salty goodness with these corn pretzel sticks. Eat one and before you know, the whole thing's gone. Corn. Tastes like canned. Mm. Totally tastes like canned sweet corn. In pretzel form. It's kind of weird, but delicious if you like canned corn. Or just corn in general. It's not bad, but... Their corn flavor is very good. And we've very gotten, corn. We've gotten quite a few corn pudding flavored things from them. They've all been really good. Yeah, that's gum. Okay, we'll, gum. Yeah. we'll wait on that. We'll go with this. Those are Tsumo Gummy. Play your own game of Tetris with these gummies. Their fun block shapes make fun and tasty game with flavors including strawberry, grape, muscats, and tangerine. This is a resealable bag, too. But they're like Tetris shapes. That's neat. Go for a flavor I might actually want to eat. I got a citrus flavor. Possibly tangerine. Probably. I got the strawberry. Pretty good. They're gummies. They're gummies, uh, but the, it's the, the Japanese ones, so their flavors are always really good. And like I said, they resale, which is always nice. There's a whole bag of Kit Kats in this one, too. And they, they they enjoy giving us the Kit Kats lately, which I am not mad at. Right, those are maple hotcakes. Hot off the presses are these mini maple hotcakes. In the center of each bite-sized cake is a special maple syrup cream that's so good you'll want more. <laughs> it looks and smells like pancakes. They do smell like maple syrup. We have a lot of maple and not a whole lot else. Like, it's not bad. There's almost nothing else to it but maple. Um, this isn't necessarily a bad thing if you like maple. Um, the kicks are soft, but still uh, a little spongy. Okay. But not bad altogether. A little jelly. Con konjac jelly? Yeah, that's konjac jelly. Take your jelly on the go with this fun treat. Receive one of three favor flavors. Ours is blue. Blue, it's probably Ramune. Yay. I regret you didn't have much. <clears throat> I hate the Ramune flavor. <laughs> yeah, it's Ramune flavor. Um, Texture-wise, it's kind of like hard Jello, like Jello but with more chewiness to it. I don't mind the texture, which I is really a don't. weird thing to say, but it's kind of like Jello with more chewiness. Uh, the flavor, if you like the Ramune, it's not bad, but it could use even even then it could use a little more sweetness. It's a pretty light flavor. Something with an owl on it. But that is Kinakobo. It looks like a turd. This old-fashioned Japanese sweet features kinako, roasted soybean flour, mochi. Ugh, I don't generally like mochi. The texture usually throws me off pretty hard. You're gonna hate that. Awesome. But I don't even like it, and I like mochi. Yeah. Okay. It's way harder. No, I like something else. The most mochi. That is nasty. And it tastes like roasted soybeans. 
Which is not really a good thing. That's not good at all. Oh, that's bad. Oh. Okay. That is chocolate melon bread. These small melon bun cookies are filled with melon flavored chocolate for each delicious for delicious melon flavor in every bite. Their melon stuff historically has been very tasty. That's true. But melon and chocolate does seem like a kind of weird combo. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. <coughs> Texture of this is probably going to be off. Like, it's weirdly soft and kind of moist. Yeah. Um, yeah, texture's kind of weird. It's almost the texture of kind of a little cake that's a couple of days old, stale. Quite a of the melon's good. I don't really get any chocolate. I don't either. I just get melon. Alright, let's bust that. The melon's pretty good though. What kind of sweet potato Kit Kat motherfucker? Yeah. So these are autumn potato Kit Kats. Basket of taste buds and another fall release of limited edition Kit Kat from Nestle Japan. These ones are made with sweet potato flavored white chocolate. The perfect co tasty combination to remind us all that fall is upon us. I can only pray that the sweet potato doesn't come through properly. Hopefully, it's just white chocolate. Historically, sweet potato is going to come through. Because generally, their, their Kit Kats, whatever they say they taste like, they do. Mild. Sweet potato is actually pretty mild. White chocolate kind of overpowering it, which is a good thing because I like white chocolate. I can still taste the sweet potato. It's there, but it's not overpowering. These are edible. Yes, they're not nearly as good as many of the other flavors of Kit Kat we've gotten. If you like sweet potatoes, though, you'd probably like that. Yes, we just up. All right, we're gonna bust out the drink. That is a Vivitz Hokkaido melon mix soda. Well, that is something we sure cannot get here. This month's drink fe features a carbonated drink with the flavors of Hokkaido red melon juice. Enjoy the sweetness and richness of red melon and its delicious aroma. The traditional problem with the drinks is that either they're disgusting or there's something we can't get, we can easily get here for the most part. That does not have enough sugar. It's not bad though. The flavor is not bad. That may and maybe it's because I've been eating a lot of sweet stuff right now that it's throwing it my could taste buds need off. Need a little more sugar. Well, it's got some sourness to it, which I appreciate in a soda, especially considering all the sweet that we're, we're eating. Uh, it's good. Um, it, it, the melon flavor is very pronounced. It's not bad. Uh, I think we got like a pudding cup. That is pudding flavored jelly. Uh, slurp up this pudding flavored jelly treat that's creamy and delicious when you're in need of something quick and sweet. So it's, it, it looks like pudding, but it's actually jelly. That was a horrific texture. Awesome. Yes, it is. I'm not even finishing that. The flavor is not bad. It's, it's like a vanilla pudding. <sighs> a very, very lightly flavored vanilla pudding. There's honestly not a bunch of flavor in general. Um, and the texture is awful. Yes, and the texture is like gelatin but wrong. Yeah, it's just, it, it's awful. Got some Those are mini uh, Anoimo Angel Pie. Oh, I'm sorry. Pie. These are full of flavor of these sweet potato sandwich biscuits. Why? They're fluffy and delicious sandwich biscuits. They're filled with luscious marshmallow cream. Looks like a moon pie. I'm sure it basically is. Honestly, it's not bad. You taste more chocolate than anything. I don't really taste much in the way of sweet potato, which is a good thing. Um, and because they're mini, they're not dry like some moon pies can be. Yeah, some of the pies they've sent when they're larger, they get very dry. These are mini, it's, it, it's still got some moisture in it. So, uh, the surprisingly good. not bad. Chocolate's good, and I don't really taste the sweet potato, which is a good thing. I think this might be gum. Um, no, this is hard balls, but we'll still see. That's also gum. Wait, maybe. maybe not. 
Alright, we'll do this. That is Soba Meshi. Uh, enjoy the flavors of classic yakisoba and rice with this savory snack on the go. Good, something savory. Yeah, that's why I was going for it. It's like, that looks savory. Because even me. the thing that was supposed to be savory, the Cheetos are, are sweet. Trail mix, I guess. Ah! I don't know if they should eat that or not. It's noodles, I guess. It should be fine. Oh, it's noodles and it's not sweet, though. So. Noodles and puffed rice. It's really good. But I have no idea how I'm supposed to eat that <laughs> normally. Yeah. That's it's really, really good. good. Honestly, it's like little pieces of puffed rice and fried noodles. Yeah, it's like eating ramen. Whatever flavoring they've got on it, though. I guess it just says the flavor of a classic yaki soba. Right? Super good. That's really, really good. Though a little difficult to eat. We got some flavoring of potato chip. That's our um, Gyokuro and the Matcha Salt Pride Potatoes. Matcha is what I like. Yeah. That you don't. Powder. That you don't. No, I don't know if you really care uh, Enjoy crispy, crunchy, and salty goodness all at once with this bag of tea salt potato chips. Featuring three types of tea leaves, Nishio, uh, Nishio Matcha, Tamechi Techa, and Yokuro. I probably won't like it because there's enough matcha on them that they're green. Actually, I don't taste much matcha. I don't taste much of anything. I taste salt. They taste like potato chips. Lightly salted potato chips. So, not bad. I mean, they're, they taste like chips. Yeah. I think they're kettle kind of chips, though. Mm. Not full on kettle. No. Not bad. Um, I don't really taste any, any tea, which is a good thing for me. So. We have another one of these. Looks like a maybe a. Is it cold, just straight cola? It looks like a root beer. It's a sour cola gummy. Pop, pour, fizzle with this sour cola gummy treat to satisfy a sweet craving in the jiffy. Sorry. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. It's not terrible. Like a, I don't, we don't like their cola flavor. Does it taste like a flat Coke yeah. to me? But well, the sourness really helps. that their cold flavor is too awful, they overload the box with it. That too. Every box has at least two or three things that are cold flavored in it. Um, the gummy though, not bad. I didn't really get much sour off of it, but not bad. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll do this one next. And those are Suno Manma Soda. When one comes out super sour, and I usually get it. Uh, made by Chorus, the Soda Manma Ramune gum contains three round shaped balls. One of the three is sour, but can only be revealed when tasting and chewing. Yeah, there's always a sour one every time we get these. Okay, she got the sour one. Ah! Right because she always picks the middle one. I got the non sour version of it. It's it's, the, it's cola gum. It tastes like every other cola gum I've ever gotten from them. It's a sour! It's just so sour! It's just odd. Because normally, even when we've gotten the ones, it's the three of them, and one of them supposed to be sour, it ain't that sour. <coughs> this one's extra sour! All right, those are Sherbert Perro Cider. These delicious cider candy features powder that quickly turns into a refreshing soda candy when it's in your mouth. Uh, is it literally like powder with a spoon or something? Or? It's a sucker. It's a sucker. And we have to lick it first to... Or apparently, maybe it already had some sour stuff it had in it. some on it, but, um... Oh, thank you. Tastes pretty good. That's a, that's a bit of a sour hit, too. Mm. 
Oh, man. I'm not really getting the fizzy sensation that they, uh, that they claimed. So, not bad, though. It's the standard cola flavor, or it's the Ramune cola flavor. It's not terrible, but they just overload these boxes with it. There's always, like, three or four. Yeah, at least one or two gums that are all cola. That's cola. That one's gum. Go, 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 gum. I would say it's at least a cute package on this one. Concoct your own interesting flavor of gum with this pack containing four different flavors. Green apple, grape, yogurt, and peach. Oh, so is this like the DIY? I don't think so. Well, we, I don't think we've come across it yet. So I don't think there is a DIY. Well, yeah, this no. might be the, the DIY of the month in which it's not really a DIY. So, I'm full with it. Yeah, is it just packets of gum? Yeah, if it's just packets of gum, I think we're supposed to like... Mix and match or some yeah. shit. Yeah, so, fuck So it has like gum in it that you could just like break off. Like it's actually got like lines where you can break it off. What flavors did it say it was? Uh, green apple, grape, yogurt, or peach. Yeah. Green apple, grape, yogurt, and peach. I'll try peach. I will try green apple. As usual, the peach flavoring is on point. Though, it loses its flavor really quickly. Like, super quick, it's already gone, kind of flavor loss. The green apple is also pretty good, but like you said, there's also a grape, which he hates, and a yogurt, which I just find horrific. Um, gum should not, yogurt should not come in gum. The flavor's not terrible or anything, but it's the standard peach flavor is what I got, and the gum wasn't great. We got this. Is that it? Mm -hmm. That is Chan Fusion Gum. Mm. Enjoy the flavor of cider while out and about with this gum. Easy to take along and pop into your mouth when you're in the need of a refresh. So, cider flavored. Cider flavored gum. Well, at least the, the, these two gums weren't cola flavored. That's true. It does come with a little thing on the inside that a lot of these do, but I can't read Japanese. Yeah, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a little comic strip or... or I think what. it's supposed to be like, you know, Bazooka Joe you, comes with stuff. I think it's supposed to be similar. All right, you gotta chew it for a second. But then you start getting some cider flavor. It's not real strong. It's not bad, but it's nothing special. Okay. So, did you have a favorite? Ooh. Unlike last month, this month was not great. These were really, really good. Yeah, the soba meshi, the noodles and rice or whatever, that was really good. The soda I actually kind of liked. This, this, oh, the actual drink? Yeah, the actual drink. That's a rare thing for you. These were good, but they just taste like plain potato they chips. They taste like potato chips. Um, the Cheetos were weird. Yep. Not necessarily bad, but really weird. Tetris gummies were pretty good. Gummies were pretty good. These were surprisingly good. Yes, considering they're supposed to be sweet potato flavored. And usually the moon pies are too big to get dry. And the little corn sticks were pretty good. The corn sticks were pretty good. And these were edible. Yeah, considering they're, they're sweet potato flavored, they're edible. They're not, they're not awful like I kind of expected them to be because Normally with their Kit Kats, the flavor that they're they're going for really kind of comes out. It didn't end that. They mostly just taste like white chocolate Kit Kats, which I'm okay with. As far as truly awful? Um, the pudding cup thing was this, awful. I hate this. That thing was pretty terrible. Um, the pudding cup. Uh, oh, the, the Cheetos were... I'm the, there, there's too much sweetness in those Cheetos. I don't, I don't like them. They're weird. And I got the sour gum again. Yep, she got sour gum. That, and that one almost hurt. Oh, honestly. and the, the kinakobo, whatever, the roasted soybean bean flour thing was, oh. was, was terrible. Terrible. So that is it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, we do really appreciate it. And hopefully we will see you later. Bye.